Hey guys, I want to do a short uh, in-depth cable discussion. Uh, HDMI cable has pretty much become the standard cable for passing audio and video because it has a huge bandwidth, meaning it can pass large amounts of data over one cable, which is really nice so you don't have to have five different cables running. You certainly don't need an audio cable and then a video cable. HDMI can do it all. So they really the only stipulation you need to get um, like full 4K content is to have a high speed HDMI cable. It usually says it right on the cable itself. Otherwise, in the description of the cable, it typically says that as well. Um, and you don't have to spend 50 bucks or 100 bucks or any, certainly nothing over 20 is worth spending money on. Unless you need a really long run, then you might want to get a better quality cable. That's what I did. Um, but for anything under, anything under, you know, 20, 30 feet, you can get your Amazon Basics cable or go to Mono Price and pick up an HDMI cable there. You don't need anything fancy. And they're really nice because they can pass perfect audio and video and you only need one cable. If you can't use HDMI for some reason or you're just curious, there are other cables out there. Um, there used to be Component and Composite, uh, which were like the red, yellow, white, and the red, green, blue colors. They could only, I think they only pass up to up, up to 4, 480p uh, resolution, nothing even remotely close to 4K, which is what HDMI can do. Um, there's also, for audio, there were, um, there's digital optical, which is still used in some instances. Uh, the Sonos Play Bar is a particular example. I've owned that, that uh, Play Bar. And uh, most TVs still include that as an output option. So if that's what you have, you can still use your digital optical out. Uh, there's also coaxial digital optical out, or excuse me, coaxial digital out. Uh, it looks just like a coaxial cable. Um, actually looks more like an RCA cable. It's called coaxial, it looks like an RCA cable, audio cable. Um, the cables for sending um, speaker wire or the sound over speaker wire, there are different gauges. Uh, you, doing a quick Google search on like, what gauge wire should I use for this length? There's lots of people out there that can tell you that, so I don't go over that. But the bigger the the bigger the number of the gauge, the smaller the wire. So it's kind of opposite. So a 22 gauge wire is going to be fairly thin, and that would be recommended for a shorter run of you know less than 20 feet or something like that. Um, a smaller number gauge, just like in shotguns, like a 10 gauge shotgun is is you know more powerful than a 20 gauge. It's that's that same idea so anyway back to the gauges so a 10 gauge um like speaker wire is going to be much thicker it's going to be a lot better at passing audio at longer at longer runs or longer distances but typically you can get 16 is a pretty good standard um, and be just fine if you want to get thicker that's fine you can do that too it's usually a little bit more expensive um, if you ask some supreme audio files they're going to say you have to get this you know $500 blue jeans cable or these, you know, really high-end cables, but there are very few people that are that picky and even the people that are that picky If they were honest with themselves probably wouldn't be able to notice a difference between that and the $15 <laughs> mono price cable that I have um, There tends to be some kind of uh, What's the word people? Go a little, a little crazy. They start to make up things in their mind, like thinking that this is so much superior when it really isn't. So speaker wire isn't too picky. We just I just got some Amazon basic speaker wire and maybe a mono price roll too. Um, and then you can just cut it, uh, cut it and then cut off the ends and just use bare wire connections or use banana plugs, which can be nice for that. So uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, the only thing I think I will reiterate is if you have a, an HDMI cable, if you need a long run, uh, like when I was running from my receiver up to my ceiling to my projector, I got a thicker cable that was rated, you know, for in-wall installations because I might want to do that eventually. And also I just wanted to make sure I was getting the full bandwidth because that certain just after for HDMI, I think after 50 feet, you need to get a booster. Otherwise it doesn't actually carry the full, um, the full audio and video quality, it might start to degrade um, at certain distances. So other than that, um, monoprice.com is a great place to buy cables. It's really cheap. And just recently, they've been kind of putting out some nice amplifiers and subwoofers. So if you're looking for something like that, they might be a good resource for you to check out. So 
Um, there's some uh, info on cables for you. And uh, let me know if you have questions. Otherwise, uh, happy cable buying. See you guys.